Hello everyone, and welcome to my humble abode. Uh, today I'm going to cover secret passages using doors. Now, you'll see here that I have just placed a wooden door behind this painting. That's this note that this door is open, and that's why I'm able to go through. If you actually close this door and leave, it's totally impassable, and you can't open it again without uh, destroying the painting, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's no fun. Um, but you'll notice that here I have a closed door. Um, but I've also set up redstone for it, so I can flip a switch over here, a little secret switch, and you still can't see any difference in the painting or anything, but now you can pass through it. Um, this is all handled through redstone below. I've got the same thing here. If you're lucky enough to manage to get a big painting like this, you can hide a door behind it pretty well. Um, here you can just flip a switch there, and I've actually, you know, I'm using some complicated redstone here. Not really that complicated, just a door switch. But, you know, that keeps people from accidentally hitting switches and s discovering your secret passage. And here you can keep, like, valuables or something in there. Um, here, you can just see I have redstone, and it just runs to a metal door. Um, so, in case you missed it, the way to do this is you want to have a door on the right side. You need to have blocks on the left. Um, if you really want to have the door on the left, like I have on my on the second painting I showed you on that little area over there, uh, I'll show you. Oh, you just need to use sand here, and then replace them quickly with a door after you've got the painting in place. So. You just have to make sure this is open, so that when you place your painting, and it'll take a couple tries, because it's weird about it, but now you can pass through. Um, the only problem with this specific thing is that you can see through, and see that there's stuff under there, because there's doors isn't perfect, or this painting gap isn't perfect, um, and that's why I prefer to have either blocks next to it, you know. Something like that, and then people can't guess, but at the same time that looks kind of like a doorway, so people are going to a little bit guess. Um, the other way is to just handle it by having the stuff on the left side, or by darkening all the stuff inside here. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do the uh, left side version. Let's see if I have any uh, gravel. I do. Okay, cool. Um, this one's all about timing, so let's cut up in a hole a little bigger here, and we'll take our door out of here, slowly but surely. Alright, so, actually, I don't know why I closed this up. Alright, I'm going to open this up though so that we can have access to it, and I apologize for the zombies that are in the background. Um, so, we'll place our painting, we'll get our shovel, and actually let's rearrange our hotbar so we can do this even quicker. Um, so, you're going to want to kill both of these really quick and place your door. Um, oh, I just killed my painting, but you can see that the painting still exists in there. Um, if you don't do it quick enough, your painting will just, dis will just pop off on its own. Um, so. Yeah, be careful when hitting near your painting, because it will just fall off the wall here. Um, we'll just keep retrying re here. And I don't know if there's a trick to this. Maybe someone knows if there's a special way you have to do it, but there we go. Alright, so let's try this again. Um, let's rearrange our hotbar. Get our shovel ready. And pop it off there, and do... Alright, now my door is kind of at a funny angle, but it still works. And it's on the left side. You can now take and fill this in. Nobody will know the difference. <laughs> so I guess I'm keeping you from coming through the opposite way. Um, anyway, this is how you make the door on the left side work correctly. Um, you can use that all sorts of things. Have fun making little secret passages. Let me know.